Hey there all and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this cool hover animation or the expanding image animation only using HTML and CSS. So let's get started with our code. So here we have our starting code and let's start with our HTML tags and here basically I have a symbol setup. I have a main div with the class name of container and inside that I have three divs which has a common class with the name image and then another unique classes with the name image1, image2 and image3 or in a short form img-1, 2, 3. Alright, I will explain why I did this as we go on to our CSS. So, as you can see, I've already done something on my CSS file and don't worry about it, it's just basic normalizing. So basically this part does the centering of whatever is on the container. So basically the container will be on the center so that I can show you guys the effect more properly. So I've just given it a margin and padding of 0 to remove all of them and then a height 100pH so that we could display it using the flex and the center properties. And I've also given it a background color of this color. Alright and also I've already given some background images to IMG1, 2 and 3. So they are both, they all have unique images. So what background image does is we can <coughs> specify an image using CSS rather than using IMG tags in the HTML. So here I have background image and then you will put URL uh, followed by brackets and double quotes. And inside that you will put link to your image. Alright. Now the next thing we need to do is to style the other things. So basically we need our images to be shown right here. So for that I'm gonna use oh okay. So that image, which is the main tag of this one, the common tag or the class name of this one, and then I will give it a height of 400 pixels and a width of 40 pixels or actually okay we are starting to see our images so let me just give it a hundred pixels 150 basically you can change it to whatever you want depending on how much of the image you want to see at that time yes 350 might be or okay 400 it is all right nice square and then i am gonna use since the images are just really stretched out we need to use background uh, size property. So background size basically defines the size that will occup that the image will occupy in this currently specified height and width dimensions. So it will be cover that property basically covers how much of it can fit in this height and width. And the next thing we need to do is background position shown and then center. Basically this is optional but I just use it so that every image will be centered nicely. So as you can see the images are in horizontally aligned, it's vertically aligned. So to make it horizontally aligned, 
what we can use is our main div class with the class name of container. So just copy it and then dot container. And it's a it's gonna be a simple fix. You can probably guess it by now. It's display flex. Alright, now it's nicely vertically centered. Okay, now it's just overflowing, but don't worry about it. We will only be expanding one image at a time. So we will take care of it later, but right now we need a margin so that it looks good. So it will be margin zero on the top and bottom and on the left and right it's going to be 10 pixels there we go we have a nice little margin here and then i will give it a nice little border radius of maybe eight pixels right that looks nice to me and now it's time for the magic we need to do so i'm just gonna quickly Increase it with to 10 plus. Okay, 50 pixels maybe. All right, looks great. Good to me. And then that image hover. I'm gonna use that image hover. This one colon. And when I hover it, <coughs> need cursor to be pointer which means the cursor changes to the hand icon or the hand cursor and then the width is gonna be 400 which was the initial width and there we go it's just moving and also the cursor is changing to hand but this looks a bit chunky we need a smooth transition for that we use transition property on the image so that it will define how much of a delay the transition from image to hover image needs. So 0.5 seconds and all, which means it will affect all the properties which comes under the image hover. Right now we only need one property but it comes in handy if you need to add some other properties. And there we go, it's working smoothly. And let's just increase this transition time right that's just way too long maybe five okay all right eight seconds okay point eight seconds seems to be the nice one it's fast yet smooth all right that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new on the way until the next video goodbye